Wonderful, wonderful. We've got it recorded. <laughs> okay, we're going to get started. Welcome, everybody. My name is Michelle December, and I work at the Contemporary Art Museum. And if you ever, I am the only one who should be speaking in English tonight, the rest will be in American Sign Language. But because I am still learning, I have my friend Hannah here to interpret. And if there are ever any questions, please put them in the chat and I will keep an eye on it. And also because you'll notice that we are doing this meeting, uh, this Zoom as a meeting format, you can leave your video on, you can turn your video off, but we did this format so that we could create community and conversation. And so if you want to share your voice, your questions, your comments, you can put them in the chat, or you can also raise your hand using the reactions or try, your, I can try to keep an eye, but if you raise your hand or put in the chat, I want to speak, then I can pin you to the top so that Hannah can see and provide interpretation for anybody like me who might still be learning ASL. But most importantly, I want to say a big thank you to two people. I'm going to start with our docent, Mark Edgehill, Mark Edgehill, who is giving the tour for tonight. Mark is a deaf educator and is going to be giving us a tour of CAM's current exhibitions and we'll get a chance to look at five exhibitions that are on view at the museum right now until February 12th of next year. Because I think that a lot of you might be joining from outside of St. Louis, I would love if you could introduce yourself by putting your location in the chat and any message that you might want to share with us. We'd love to know where you find yourself tonight. Okay. And just one other thing I wanted to say about our, uh, our plan for this evening. Mark will give a tour, which we hope to be very interactive and informal, uh, but we'll make sure that there's also time at the end for any other conversation. And I also want to say thank you to the second person I wanted to call in and recognize, which is Tony Nitko, who is the Director of Marketing at Deaf Inc. And Tony is really the reason that we started doing these tours and is such a wonderful collaborator that I wanted to ask him to come uh, into the meeting, not only to join us, but I'm gonna actually pin him now because I want to give uh, Tony some space in case you're new to meeting Tony um, for him to introduce himself and Deaf Inc. So I'll pass the virtual mic to Tony. And I'll wait for you to pin me just one moment. <clears throat> I think you're pinned, Hannah, I hope. But somebody correct me if that's not right. I don't see it pinned, but I'll go ahead and do it myself. Okay. There's five of us. Hello. <laughs> I'm Tony and I'm from Deaf Inc. Again, just reiterating uh, that. I've worked at Deaf Inc. now for 13 years and um, since the foundation of Deaf Inc. in 2008, uh, one of our largest goals is to uh, increase accessibility for uh, deaf individuals, hard of hearing, deaf blind, um, and anybody who fits into that category. There's just a variety of um, educational, cultural, and um, accessibility options we want to encourage in museums. So the goal with all of this and providing videos in museums is just to have more of an open access to others and provide that privilege in the community that we, that many people who don't have any language access need to be provided. And so we wanted to start uh, providing tours in ASL in museums and that uh, began and we've encouraged that to continue to grow. Uh, we started it in 2020 
we wanted to do something a little bit different. We wanted to um, bring a deaf person in to provide the tour instead of just having it um, provided through an ASL interpreter with somebody who would speak in English for the tour. So we knew this was a good idea. We felt that a deaf person providing that tour uh, within a museum would be uh, just increasing that accessibility and the learning experience for any deaf individuals who would want to have that tour. And so the Contemporary Art of Muse or Museum of Art um, wanted to step up and do that. We also were in Kemper Art Museum, the History Art Mu or the History Museum, and various other museums that have coordinated together to provide this um, this experience to deaf and hard of hearing people. And I think we are beginning ever since 2020, we're beginning to really reach those goals and improve the experience each time we provide it. And I really do hope that each of you enjoys this evening, uh, the tour that you're about to go on. I do always really appreciate any feedback. You're welcome to contact me uh, at Deaf Inc. on Facebook, shoot me an email um, to my inbox, any feedback that you can think of, we're completely open to it. So I think that's all. And without further ado, I wanna go ahead and turn it over to Mark Edgehill. Hello, everyone. I'm really happy to have a good day. Hello, everyone. I'm so happy that you joined us this evening. I'm very excited. Um, and I really hope that you're able to enjoy all of the various art uh, in the museum that the museum has to offer. I don't know where to start. You want to talk about so I don't know exactly where to start. Um, you know, since we're not in person, should I just go ahead and start with the first thing? <laughs> okay. Okay. So well, first I wanna talk about this that you see here on the PowerPoint, this exhibition. It's called Great Rivers Biennial. And this year will be the 10th anniversary. It was started in 2003, so it'd be next year. Um, and so in 2022 is when we're celebrating this. This year we're providing things like, uh, you know, providing to 100 people um, uh, an opportunity to go into the art museum. There's a lot of people uh, who say. Yeah, 10, although 10 people, um, artists. We, we are exhibiting 10 people's art within the museum this year for this celebration, just reducing the number uh, to just 10 people. In the past, we've shown more. So 10 people won to be able to be uh, exhibited and three people uh, from that 10 uh, won those honors. Three people were uh, received a cash award for that. And, um... So I'm happy to tell you, let me see the first one they showed is- uh, And so I am happy to uh, show you the first artist, Yoshin Kuo. And this is one of the- And then is, this is one of the art exhibitions and it really surprised me the first time I saw it. Like first they, they asked people to take off their shoes. At first when entering this exhibition, they asked people to take off their shoes. Um, as they walked through it. And they had a white carpet laid out. When you get into the room and you see all the art, you see so many beautiful different colors, lots and lots of different colors, especially in the backgrounds. They're just so light. It's so fabulous to see all the different colors. I've really enjoyed it. 
They're really wonderful. And I thought, you know, it's like, okay. And when I first saw it, I thought, okay. Meanings are different. I figured There's all kinds of different meanings that you can apply to some of these art pieces, especially as it's going through a river. What could each thing mean? Culture. There's musical instruments and other culture integrated within the art. And just looking at it carefully, what are the people doing? What is going on in the art? There's a lot of history included um, just in this in this painting. In my opinion, see what they say. I think many things, but I thought. And I know a lot of people were taking pictures, and I'm curious what other people's thoughts were as they look at it. But I'm wondering what any of your opinions would be as you look at this art. What what does it bring to mind? really just like I could see a lot of things like so really like you just see a lot of things when you're looking at it things that I might think of would be oh the pastel colors yeah that's a good one but I that's a good one like it is but I see more things like um you know just the beautiful area it just feels alive like I could actually be there be part of it People is like spiritually feeling. Alive. People may be spiritually feeling alive, like part of the river, part of the landscape. It's incredible. It's really incredible. Really incredible. Any, any opinion on that one? Any opinions on that one? Anyone want to throw anything out? That's what I was thinking. Is the yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking. Just the history involved in it. The past. Yeah, and different cultures. Yeah. And of course, uh, the river has a lot. Of and of course, the river has a lot of music, you know, culture music. near it. Music. Um, Indian life, for sure. We have Indian uh, life, absolutely. That uses the river so much. A lot of Indian life and history in the past um, uses a lot of rivers. Yeah. I guess the cat is small. <laughs> okay, I guess. I any opinion other than that? I guess the art is kind of small. So I guess there aren't any other opinions. So we'll go ahead and move to the next one. Okay. Oh, then this one is uh, Sandro. The next one is Sandro. Oh, I'm sorry. We're oh, sorry, about... not Sandro. The next one was Yvonne Osi. And her, uh, this was more about the, the and her view is more about the culture of black people and she tried to present it through, and she um, present tried to present it through using um using half a face here showing showing the representation here you see in there like and in the room you see like um these in shape you, you'll see a picture of that some different shapes and you'll then see a picture of that pictures of different feelings and then she shows pictures of different feelings like talking mm -hmm. about her life as a black woman and what she's uh living through it's and just, what she's living through i have to stand there and watch it look say this i have to stand here and look at it and just um uh, i've never seen anything like that kind of work yeah here's an example and you know it was i thought oh well, okay this is not a, a I thought, okay, this is not um, a painting, but more they're just um, pictures that focus on what life is like going through, going through it. You can see that. One. And also you can see that one picture off to the right. That is I believe on the right side there. That's a hotel. What's the name? That was a Martin Luther. 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 I'm sorry. Um, a Lutheran. Um, I forget the name of it. Oh my God. 
when he was killed, oh, they, oh, my doctor. Uh, oh, when he was killed, Dr. Mm-hmm. Martin Luther King, I'm sorry. Yeah, you see, I think that's yeah, yeah. he was uh, assassinated there. Yeah, he was assassinated there. Yeah, that was at a motel. Maybe. That was at the motel. Okay, she's talking about I thought, Okay, so she's talking about, the artist here is talking about the feeling of that experience. And it's really important to experience or think about the feelings, the emotions. Okay, we got, uh, my area's got so much changes. I'm kind of getting confused. Okay, okay I'm getting a little confused with the, the Zoom, how the Zoom is looking oh, right I now. See. Oh, I see. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm not familiar with a lot of Zoom. And I'm not familiar with a lot of Zoom. So it kind of still confuses, it confuses me. I have no idea. But anyway, so I was talking about the picture that you can see, the pictures that you can see here in the exhibition. And there's also was a video four or five around each corner of the room. And so you can go from one corner to the other, one side to the other and watch each one. An and they were talking about being an American. And then she talked about it all. And then she also talked about practice her, her baby. The future and being pregnant with her son. So yeah, I think well, that was deep. So I thought, well, that's really deep. That's a really deep thing to talk about. Um, and to try to understand what she's saying. So I really enjoyed it. I was thinking so I, I really enjoyed that one. Briefly, but I was visiting. And I only saw it brief, briefly. I was just visiting for one day. But people told me, you know, if the op- if you have the opportunity to come see everything, it's wonderful. Really nice. It's just very nice. Okay. And then another one. Okay. And then the next one. They were videos. Okay. That's they were videos. Okay. Yeah. For this person, okay, these uh, are the videos. So uh, this person, John Young, and his title was the other side of. Uh, and his title was the other side of quicksand. And this one has more like a. a 3D. And this one has more like a three D type of. It's a three D type of art when you look at it. You can, you can think at first I thought it's like a, and then you think well at first I thought it was like a pillow but it's artistic stuff but it's artistic but just thinking wow this is different I was like wow this is different we have different I think really they have different I think four or five um different different pictures here or different pillow looking things here Himself, he's a native and normally himself he is a he is a native a native american himself with his culture he's trying to show his and so he's trying to show his culture of his work and through his art animals. and he includes animals a lot of animals yeah, he lives with in uh, arizona i think is and he lives in arizona i think i think that's where he lives the, uh, and so that's why you see there uh, scorpions there and uh, he added like you know this but I would think there's a lot that he's saying that that's and shame. he added like there's a lot of things that he's saying but I'm not sure exactly what he's trying to communicate but the, the choice of colors and his but art. I love the choice of colors within the art and of course he added all the graphics and of course he added all the graphics uh, which I thought was really interesting so I thought he really had some good so things. I thought he really had some good uh, good things to offer there. Stan Wright, uh, he the and if I understand correctly, place on this, he did get he won first place in this competition. It was just beautiful. It was just beautiful. Yeah, yeah the fabric is what I am. Yeah, with. fabric. Yeah, that's what I saw. Yeah. And you know, it's not just flat. It is like a well, you know, and it's not just flat. Cactus, I think it's in cactus. And I think he had like a cactus. Mm-hmm. I can't forget the spelling. <laughs> and I can never oh. remember the spelling of that word. But did you see he had real sand on the back? But yeah, you could see like the real sand on the background and the 
sand. It really helped explain the art. He he had the sand on it, just on top of it. And then they had the cactus on top of the sand. Oh, favorite uh, plant, that's true. That's your favorite plant. Yeah, that's true. Okay. More contemporary. More contemporary, yes, that's true. That's what- Yes, this, that's true, yeah. It's more and that's what this art museum is about. It shows um, recent and new artists, new art out there. Yes. And yes. So, okay, other than that, I thought, you know- like, Okay, other than that, I thought, you know, I just loved all of the bright colors. It looks like a, a balloons, but really it's just- They were like balloons, but it was really just fabric in the art, it was just the way that he did it. Okay, yes, I guess. okay next one. Okay, we'll be talking about uh, Mona. Jack okay, we'll be talking about Mona Shalabi in her art Squeeze. Her um, theory, she's trying is- And her theory, she's trying to describe- All the life that could fit in- All of the life that could fit in to okay. train cars. Subways, I'm sorry. Or sorry, subway, subway cars, yeah. Yeah, you could tell this is what, how many- And you could tell this was- You have now that could- About fit. how many animals you have now that could fit within a subway car. So that's this one. But the first one you see is- um, But the first one you see is um, rhinos. And you said, that's how many of them there are left. And if you think that's how many, if that's how many there were left in the world, that's so, how many would fit in the subway car. And I thought, I was like, oh. I'd never heard anything like that before. I thought, okay. Shows how many, uh, so the next one there shows there. how many flowers. I can't remember what kind they are. And, and I can't remember what kind of flowers they are. But then the next one, it's kind yeah. of hard to see. Oh, how do you spell it? Um, leopards. It's Those ones are leopards. And uh, of course, then you see the fish. That's and of course, then you see the fish, fish. How, if, how many fish were left. And I can't remember the other two. And I can't remember the other two. Oh, it's huge. I mean, but you it's can see huge. The standing right there. It's I mean, you can big. see the person standing right there and, uh, to the right of it. And it's absolutely a huge piece of art. It's fascinating. It got right to the point about what she's trying. And it got right to the point about what she was trying to say. And, you know, Got you know, if this were only this many in the world, it's really a tough topic. People, I mean, we have a lot of people, but small. You know, if we had fewer people, but if, you know, we have a lot of people, but if there were fewer animals, if there were only this many animals left. That's a good point. That she that's a really good point that she was making. Big, huge thing. Here's one of the. A uh, huge thing. Yeah, here's one of the close-ups. I think it's a uh, porpoise. I, bet I think these are. Porpoise? I think. Porpoise? Oh. I think. For whales, I think. Something like that. But you know, it was, it was a good point. But you know, that's just, that's a really good point. Right. It just shows art. Just, uh, right. Display. Yeah, so it shows art that just displays some things that we should be aware of right now. So I really thought that was different. I really thought that one was different. You know, she was talking about the river, you know, that's- You know, she's talking about the river. I think that's what. You know, and if we're getting close, thinking about life, if we're getting close to, to reducing that in life, that's just one example. Okay. You know, I was thinking on a subway, that's- You know, I was thinking about on a subway, that's a really different concept. She made a good point. That's all I can. And she made a really good point. That's all I can think of. Okay. I don't know if we have any more after that. I don't know if we have any more after that. This person. So this um, person. He's, he's from uh, Puerto Rico. 
He's from Puerto Rico. He decided to have a uh, show. And he decided to go ahead and have his art show, but he set it up everywhere for everyone. Permission just set it up, and people and he doesn't ask permission. He just sets it up. What is this? Well, this is interesting. What is this thing? People can come and see it. Different arts, you know, posters. He puts it on different uh, in different formats on posters, um, just so that people will pay attention to it and see it, notice it. Hey, I like this thing. People who have noticed it have often said, "Oh, I really like this." Um, this is just about routine life. In the museum, they so in the museum, samples of what he provided. He does have different samples of the things that he uh, provides out in the world. You can see there's like parachutes. Up on the roof, you can see things like yeah, there's a parachute. There's some parachutes there, and it really got my attention. I looked up and I thought, oh, that's interesting. And then I see what he has other things that he was showing. And then I saw some other things he's got there that he's showing that he's provided. Like he would have it. In and he would have it in, in place, like he, any place. He would have it maybe in a cave, or out in the woods, in a building, or uh, inside a building, or just outside of the building. He'd just go set it up right there just in the like middle of some random place so that people would walk by and see it. I thought that was so interesting. The guy in the uh, and he's from just the small island of Puerto Rico. So it's really you know, different. And I thought, well, so it's really different. Well, I'm happy that the museum. You know, I thought, I'm happy that the museum recognized um, his art and wanted to show it to other people. Yeah. And then they didn't want to also, here we wanted to talk about, well, you can see. And then he also here. wanted, here we wanted to talk about um, one of the examples, one of the, one of the things he's done. Um, yeah. So you can see in some of his pictures where he's put his art up outside of the museum, just out in the woods or right by a tree. Uh, so just when you walk by, you just see it right there. You just have the art out in public. Yeah. Yeah. So this is like the showing this sample of what it looks like. Beautiful. So this color. is like showing a sample of what it looks like. Just beautiful colors, kind of fancy, just very creative. Okay. Okay, just to let you know that if you- Okay, and just to let you know- Museum. Uh, you you'd really enjoy coming to the museum uh, here in St. Louis. It's open Thursday through Sunday, 10 in the morning until 5 in the afternoon. It's right near uh, Fox Theater. And it's right near Fox Theater, if you haven't been there before. That's kind of the area it's in. Really nice to go visit. Somewhere. Really nice. It's great to go visit and just come think about, you know, what the art inspires you to think of. And it just, uh, they, they change out um, things once a month. They have different displays. Yeah, they're going to show it through February 12th. Uh, and this one they're going to show through February 12th of next year. Hope you enjoy the tour. Really, I hope you enjoy a come and seeing the different pieces of art and things to see uh, at the Contemporary Art Museum. Any questions so far? Any questions so far? Anybody? <laughs> I see names. I don't see any I faces. I see names, but I don't see any faces. So a lot of videos are off. I guess I made everybody understood what happened. I guess I made everybody understand so clearly what it was. <laughs> Anything, Michelle? Anything, Michelle? Anything you want to add? No. Yeah. No? <laughs> yeah. Okay. I hope I, oh, you all understand what I've been saying. Everything I hope all of you understand everything I've been saying and it's all been clear. What a change. I am an artist myself. I really enjoy art and um you know just visiting the museum i go every once in a while just to see some different things this show is really and this show specifically is really different um like this i have to now i a plan to come every year. i don't have to have a plan to come every six months to see what new things there are
any questions so far? I guess any questions so far? Oh, I didn't see the one that said. Oh, I didn't see the one that said. That last. About uh, the mural, uh, that last display. No, it's more of a, a display. With you food. know, it's really a huge display. It was more of like just. Um, I didn't think it was a mural. I didn't think that it was a mural at all. It's a big painting. It was a very big painting. <laughs> okay. Any questions? That I guess that's the only one I got now. Any questions? I think that's the only question I see right now. Okay, everyone, I want to thank. Uh, okay, everyone, I want to thank you for coming. Hope you enjoy what you see. And I hope you really enjoy what you see. Please visit if you can. Please visit if you can. Okay. Okay. It's quiet. <laughs> it's quiet. <laughs> All right. People talking in the chat. Oh, let's see. There's a native art or something. I like the people were interested in Mona Chalabi's work. Oh, I probably missed all the, uh, the chat. Well, I, I probably I, missed all of this in the chat. Close it out the middle one. Thank you so much. Oh, well, thank you for uh, oh, coming. Oh, thank you for coming. Any questions? Great job. Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Okay. Well, that's all we have now. Well, that's all we have for right now, I think. Hope I can come back um, again. You all I hope I can come back you. again and you'll join me again. And we can talk about some different art exhibitions that are that are brought in the future. Right. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, I'll end the meeting now. Thank you, everybody. Yeah, it was it worked out really nice. I yeah, it worked out really nice. Yeah, I liked it. Thank you, Mark. And thank well, you, thank Hannah. You, Michelle, and thanks for your welcome. And thank you, and thank you all for coming. Be signing off. Signing off. Okay. Bye. <laughs>